fascinating is that what you described, you have to be professional. You have to build relationships. Like these right. are things that people right. have to do at their regular jobs. Right. But so you guys are in the leisure industry yeah. and you're treating it as a job. So yes. my question to you is, does it ever get, does it ever take the leisure out of the leisure? If that makes any sense, treating it like a job, being professional, showing up on time, because usually the average person I imagine, uh, wants to kick back, put their feet up and have a glass of wine. You know, or, that's a good question. It uh, is. I, I did get to the point where I'm like, I need to have a trip where I'm not on. <laughs> a vacation from your vacation yeah. job. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Which is, it's hard to do. <laughs> it was hard to kind of like, okay, I'm not on. I, you know. Yes, Because yes. I, my go-to place is New Orleans. So I had written about New Orleans numerous times and Scott and I have gone there together. I went there by myself. And so going there, I I go there every year on a girl's trip for my birthday. So it's still hard because so many of the people I know in the industry, like, know me. <laughs> so, but I tell them I'm just here as, you know, just to have fun, right? Yeah, like, but you... I had to do, I, I did have to do that. And there are times when I have to just kind of step away from that, mm -hmm. just so that I'm not doing, you know, copious amounts of social media or, you know, like having to be beholden to someone for an article or something. Well, this is technically you know not really a press trip but mm -hmm. i could use it for to do that but i don't do that anymore um i do take time out just yeah have how, fun yeah how do yeah. you guys unplug do you just come to the office and do admin work <laughs> <laughs> using the office i can get busier here than at home and you know how it is yeah. people yeah. stop by and knock okay. on the door <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> See, for me, uh, for me, um, hiking. I love to hike. Yeah, hiking and camping. <laughs> yeah. But that's how we uh, play. We go to buy a fire and camp. There's no social media. You can't get anything. <laughs> and it's just fine. I don't need to have my phone with me 24 7. But it's a little bit different. If I'm going to travel anywhere, it's, it's going to go online. I don't care yes. where I'm at. Okay. It's going to be. Yeah, we're for, different that way. Whether it's I, for I had fun to, like, or not worth it. Or not. I mean, wow. I haven't had the last vacation was probably like 10, 11 years ago at home in Miami seeing my mom. And that where I literally was not, even then, we were just starting. We went to dinner. I took pictures and stuff like that. Uh -huh. But it wasn't like, yeah, that literally, I feel like, what? Yeah, I don't even know what a vacation is, <laughs> me personally. I don't. Because if I'm going somewhere, I don't care where it is. I go to happy hour. I'm talking to people and taking pictures here. If I, I could not, I don't think I could go anywhere and just not do that. Because it's, I always be oh, shoot. I need to get this word out here. I need to tell that we're here and tell everybody know over here because it's good for the brand. It's, it's me. It's all about the brand. When people ask me how to get started, start a blog, a little blog. This mm -hmm. day is way easier now than before. Whatever you think you're good at, it's not be why, whatever it may be, like mm -hmm. maybe doing a podcast, do a blog about doing a podcast. Mm -hmm. You know, like producer could do that. You know, do a blog about doing a podcast. Whatever you're passionate about, that's how you start. And then add social media and all that to it. They start getting a following that way. That's how we did it. 